So in this video, let's talk about peroxide. Under the right conditions, hydrogen peroxide will break down to form two things, water and oxygen. So here I have my substrate. Remember, substrate is what you start with. So that's H2O2 or hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide is going to break down to form these two things, my products. So substrate is what I start with, products is what I end with. Hydrogen peroxide is going to make water and oxygen. Water and hydrogen peroxide are almost identical to what yet, so you won't be able to see that change. But bubbles of oxygen are very visible, and a really good way to indicate how fast this reaction is actually taking place. Under these right conditions, with the peroxidase coming from the liver, it's going to break down my substrate, hydrogen peroxide, into water and oxygen, my products. Peroxidase, ASE means it's an enzyme, from the liver is what actually speeds up this chemical reaction. So here's how you're going to do it. You're going to take two test tubes, A and B. You're going to put 10 drops of the liver juice in tube A, and you're going to add 10 milliliters of water to tube A to gently shake it. So tube A essentially just has liver juice and water. Tube B is going to get one dropper full of hydrogen peroxide, H2O2. I'm going to place both tubes in the selected water bath, either hot, warm, room temp, cool, or cold, for three minutes, and I'm going to gently shake them. Now I'm going to pour tube B into tube A and quickly cap with the stopper and then count the bubbles produced for 90 seconds. You're then going to repeat this for all the different temperatures with five temperatures in total. So here I have tube A, which is liver juice and water. Tube B, one dropper full of hydrogen peroxide. Remember, I'm going to take them and put them in my water bath, five different temperatures, hot, warm, room temp, cool, and cold, and I'm going to put them in there and shake gently for three minutes. After the three minutes are done, I'm going to combine them into a single tube, which is going to be both A and B, and I'm immediately going to cover it with the stopper. Why? Because instantly it's going to start making bubbles. Those bubbles are going to go through into a different one, and I'm going to count the number of bubbles that come out for 90 seconds. When I'm done, I'm going to dump out and I'm going to rinse the tubes and I'm going to repeat for each of my temperatures. That was one temperature, four more to go.